thanks. I hope you kept your eyeballs off it. That worked. I have a blood sample. Attention, all units! It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map. What a nice copy, and in color, too. Whoa there, little agent Areno. Didn't they talk about following the rules in federal agent school? I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks legit Areno. Hmm, odd. I thought I... Yeah, well... I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie, pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean, we can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to identify the body using the face tron with a photo of the body and the victim's photo ID. You mean like a driver's license or passport? Or Burger Shack loyalty card recognized around the world? We have a fingerprint report. Sure. We need a blood match. Using the blood tron with a blood swap from the body and Willie's blood wallet. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah. A woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <sighs>
You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? What nonsense. My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's know says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. What would you like to photocopy? This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now I should check into a room to prepare for the meeting. that jacket you're wearing the latest and greatest jacket it zips in the front don't most jackets do that <sighs> you're too old to understand what's on your face they're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the news guy adventure game from mucus phlegm games with these on no one knows who I am what's on your feet the latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have got to be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude who was on MTV and tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock up. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music?
It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous, big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who? What do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses, no faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them! First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel aboo in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Emilio Estevez. Of course, Mr. Estevez. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the seventh floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. How else may I be a boo of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Estevez. Whoa, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends, Abu, back home. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. 
No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds. Interesting development. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Emilio Estevez, so it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with a large nose check into? It was a room on the seventh floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. I don't give them much credence. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? No, oh, Abu, uh, I'm not the sheriff, I'm the hotel manager. Uh, the sheriff says that annoying areno thing all the time. You'll never hear me doing that, Abu. Sure. Whatever. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, Abu. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not, Abu. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an Otterino coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see Abu now. 
It was a Mr. Emilio Estevez. Sounds legit. Oh, he checked into a room aboo on the seventh floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu.